37 minutes, you probably thought it was a pretty good game, and then that yeah. top line for you and just gets going. Yeah, I mean, obviously we talked about, you know, trying to shut those guys down. Um, I, I thought the two goals they scored late, uh, I guess it was the second period, if I, memory serves me correct, um, you know, play goes off the skate and in, and then uh, not a minute later, obviously a goal that, you know, our goaltender's got to have, you know, on screen from the weak side point, we got to have that. I thought that really took a little bit of the wind out of our sails, and then the third period really was just all about getting into penalty trouble. You know, I mean, we can't uh, can't give one of the best power plays in the country, uh, you know, more than nine minutes consecutive in power play time. We're gonna pick it apart pretty good. Um, I thought they did a great job executing, and you know, certainly we're the, we're the better team. You know, again, disappointed because I thought five on five we did some really good things. Uh, not much to show for it, unfortunately. Uh, earlier this week, you talked about focusing on winning one-on-one -on -one battles. How would you assess how you did in that area? I thought we were better. We still have a ways to go. I mean, we're not, we're not going to have to solve it overnight, you know, or one week's practice time. Um, I thought the guys, better attention to detail. Um, again, penalty kill was was probably the disappointment tonight. I they had some pretty easy looks there. You know, two of their goals were tap. You know, one was a tap in, obviously. Then our defenseman got beat wide. Paul Thompson made a great move, strong to the net. Beat Robbie uh, top shelf was a pretty nice power play goal off the rush. So, I mean, it wasn't like they, uh, um, you know, dominated us in terms of fa fancy plays on the power play. It was really entry plays and, and uh, almost broken plays that, that worked really well for them. But uh, five on five, we were, we were better, especially first period, much better job. So we, we've got to try to pull the positives from the game and, you know, try to try to uh, convince the guys if we do that for 60, we're going to be, we're going to be good. But it's uh, there's no question we're you know you're in kind of a tailspin we're trying to find our way out of it and it's it may not happen overnight and uh, as the captain of the ship I've got to try to try to hold it together you know it's uh, it's not been easy and certainly is not going to get easier until we so obviously you know I think with team it's how we played the game it was uh, you know another night when we played 60 minutes stayed with it first period uh, you know, they they came at us you know, they played aggressive and they were a good team. We just stayed with it and did what we had to do and, and eventually uh, you know, got the lead and then made the most of our power plays to, to open it up. So I was pleased, very pleased with the effort and uh, a lot of the lines clicked and the first line of power play was very good. Thompson, his last goal is, uh, that's how the kid's playing right now. He just took it to the net. It was a big time goal. This first line obviously has been so much to you guys this year. Yeah. Is this just chemistry right now? Are they just clicking on all cylinders? One, they're skilled. Two, they've got great chemistry. Uh, the best of friends. They enjoy playing with each other. Uh, my problem with them sometimes is getting them off the ice. But they're, they're very good. They're a talented group, and uh, there's no question they're a big part of our team. But I think the other lines are getting better. I mean, the line tonight of Salingo, Gumas, Keith Gumas, Freshman played very well. Uh, with Henry on, they played well. So we're getting stronger. Burke, hopefully, is going to be coming back. So we're, we're only going to get a little bit stronger. And the defense is going to solve for us. Do you know that you're going to, do you feel confident that you're going to wear teams down? I think you wore, wore Vermont down pretty good tonight. You know what, Jimmy? It's, it's, it's a good point. And, uh, we talked about it. And uh, we work on it, the pace and practice. And it's about speed and just defy them to, to keep up with us and just stay with it. And uh, I, I think the guys like that mentality. And that's what they want to do. They, you know, they transition well. And, you know, they can play a game, but we want to slow you down and not give us the shots, but we stayed with it, and eventually, you know, we're going to get those, and we opened it up as the game went on. You know, they did that to us last year in the playoffs, yeah. And they shot us out the, the last two games, you know, playing that style, but we just stayed with it and pushed it and pushed it, and I think it paid dividends tonight. What about Kostowanski? You know, his offensive surge, is that something that, that you talked to him about, or is that something that he kind you of You know what? We just talked about last year in the power play. He didn't have the hottest shot in the world, and he's the greatest kid you, you ever want to coach. He's a terrific kid. He's well-respected on his team. He's he's very skilled. With the puck going in for him right now, it's, uh, I mean, it's a great pass, but he put it away on the power play. That was a huge goal. Couldn't happen to a better kid. One of the hottest rookies I've ever coached. Those lower couple of lines, do you feel that they're going to – eventually get there, that they're going to be thrown in the, the well, box. They, You're going to need them, I think. Yeah, eventually. they are. They are. You know, I'm very confident. <coughs> I put Salingo's line out against Stalberg's line tonight, so I'm very confident that they were 
Team, we're playing pretty good right now. Um, obviously, I think the individual stuff uh, comes from playing on a great line. And those two guys are playing awesome, and I think we're all feeling pretty good right now about the way we're playing. I think our chemistry is going really well right now, so hopefully that continues. A goal scorer or a player is it similar to a basketball player or a golf putter and stuff like that. Does that seem big to you, or do you, you get into a groove? Do you feel like you? Uh, I think you can definitely get in a groove, and when you're, as you can be in slumps too, and. It's not a good feeling, but I mean, when you're when you're scoring and like every night and just having good nights after usually good nights, and it's just I mean, like you play with a lot more confidence, and I think that's where where the points come from and the goals and just basically. One play tonight, more happy with another or yourself. Um, goal or a... I think on that uh, third one there, I think it was just a good play. Uh, system moved up quick and. I've had a few opportunities to take guys wide in the last couple of games, and I've kind of either taken a weak backhand or on net, and I think it's kind of happy with myself that I cut across there and just took a better shot than more a uh, high percentage shot than just throwing on net with a backhand. Or... Yeah, so, yeah obviously our power play's been moving the puck really well, and Koss has been playing awesome. And, when you have all five guys on the power play unit that are a threat to score, and I think it makes it really hard to defend. So he's been playing awesome. And I mean, I think our power play right now is, is the best that's been since I've been here, and just hopefully we can continue that going. Talk Coach Bork game. was saying that you came kind of came into this year knowing that you were the go-to guy a little differently than last year. Do you feel like your confidence level lifted more uh, coming into this year? Um, I think so. I think uh, obviously me, Phil, and Sis knew that we had to be the leaders out there offensively and also set an example defensively and doing the little things right. So I think I definitely came into the year with high expectations for myself and I think right now we're, we're the three of us are doing pretty well. So I think we're happy with where we are and where the team is right now. Your last goal, did you know where you were going without the whole way? Uh, once I beat the D, I, I knew that's where I was going to shoot, yeah. Was that something that you weren't just from watching him that you wanted to take him top shelf? Or is uh, that... No, I think if once you come around the D like that, if you can get that shot off quick enough, I think it's a good uh, percentage shot. And that's kind of more what I used to do back in junior, so it's kind of nice to get more on like that. <laughs> yeah, you haven't yeah. stopped yet. I know, I don't know, I don't quite know how to explain it. <laughs> Have you been on a scoring streak like that before in your career? Or? Not that I can remember, no. Definitely not. This is the first. Uh, does it change your mindset? I mean, do you, are you looking to shoot more, or are you, are you feeling uh, like admit, a goal scorer? Definitely more confident with the puck, but I wouldn't say that I'm looking to shoot more. I'm just still trying to do what I try to do every day. So. Um, <laughs> and what about the tell us about your goal today? Uh, we were on the power play. They moved it down to Thompson on the on the goal line, and it looked like there was a big opening in the middle. So I just kind of filled it. He gave it to me. Had a lot of time, and just picked a spot and went in. And where did where'd it go? Uh, po far post and in. Now, as many goals as Phil, you're going to rub that in his face a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Like, also, Phil DeSimone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> has, has any coaches said anything to you about you know trying to step up your offensive production, or is this something that you, know, you just kind of got the bounce of a couple games in a row? Oh, that was a goal coming into the season after last season. They told me that you know we wanted to contribute more offensively, so before the season started, that was the mindset that I wanted to come in with. And, what were you all through juniors, more of a defensive defenseman, more, you know, focused? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I really, I contributed offensively when I could, but I didn't put up big numbers or anything like that. So what does it feel like to, you know, I think it's four out of five you've had a goal? Uh, it's not. It's nice, but it's good that we're winning, too. That helps a lot. Should we be expecting a goal again for the rest of the <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about that. Probably not, but we'll see. Your goal broke a streak for about 160 minutes that you had to score against these guys going back to the Hawkins mm -hmm. finals. I mean, is that something you guys even think about or just last year and how they kind of frustrated you defensively and it's 0 0 after the first uh, game? Definitely coming. You think about last year and what happened and just try to carry that over, maybe a little frustration towards that and try to take that out and definitely worked tonight, which is good. What was the base difference after the after the first period? Defensively, they really followed the guys up. I think we just moved the puck better, more cleanly, more tape to tape, got the little chips in, picked it up, got all over them, and that's what made the difference. Sure. Out there tonight, so it felt good. You guys can be happy too. I know you talked last week about taking these three games, these last three games, when you're focusing on two game and ends. Now you've got two of them out of the way. One more left. It looks like you're finishing out pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, the last three games we want to finish out strong, and we've done that so far. The first two, so you know we're. Uh, it's always a big rivalry and a tough game against Maine, so you know we're gonna enjoy it tonight. But we're looking forward to, to Maine and uh, 
we're getting back to work this week and doing all the little things that we've done these last couple games to get the wins. He's a little disconcerting at all. Probably not tonight, but, you know, Phil, he seems to be the playmaker, but it's been a while since he scored a goal. Is he feeling um, any stuff? I don't know. I mean, it, it's kind of been like that all year where someone's got the hot hand at a certain time, and he hasn't scored a goal in a little while, but, but he, he's in there making plays as much as anybody out there, and sometimes it's just the bounces and and who's who's the last couple to touch it so but you know we we've been playing well as a line and, and it's it's been fun and a lot of good chemistry going on what about thompson it seems like he does have the hot hand right now what's it like playing with someone like that you know someone with his size while he has the hot hand but it's you know you always every time you give him the puck you never know and they, tonight especially that uh i don't know if it's his third goal i think but I mean, I just passed it to him in neutral zone, and it seemed like a two-on-two, and harmless two-on-two, and he skated right by the D. So, you know, it's it's pretty fun playing with a guy with the with the bounces and the, and the you know the everything going his way right now. So it's, it's a lot of fun. What about the goal? It looked like he deflected it enough of your slap shot. Is that what happened? Um, I actually had skated around the net and, and slid it over to Phil, and uh, Phil one time did, and I thought it went in straight off Phil's shot, and it, it uh, ricocheted off his off Thompson's skate and went in. So that was that was a good play. Thank you.